if you would have told me at this time last year that I would have been the owner of an ice cream shop, I would have told you you, you were just you're just wrong. You're crazy. You're right. <laughs> Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Discovering the High Life. My name is Tim and in this episode we are going to introduce you to the new owner of Coffee and Cone in Kirkland. Coffee and Cone is the oldest ice cream shop in Kirkland and it opened in 1965. It's tucked under the stairs at one Lakeshore Plaza right near Marina Park in Kirkland. And we're going to be featuring more businesses in Kirkland on future episodes. So if you like this one, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Okay, let's go meet Eddie. How you doing? Edward Tooks here. I'd like to introduce myself. i uh, new owner of Coffee and Cone here in downtown Kirkland in Marina Park. Just wanted to say hi and let you guys know about the new things that are happening here at Coffee and Cone under new ownership. Uh, I'm a new owner. I've only owned it since last August. Came in and gave a quit, placed facelifts. Put some new paint and art on the walls. It's definitely helped. A uh, more open environment, more open feeling. We're open all year long now. So we have great coffee with great ice cream. We have some unique treats. Coffee and Co. has been here since 1965. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of uh, memories here. I feel honored to be a part of something that has so much history behind it. It's been such a part of the community over the past 60 years. Uh, we definitely like to emphasize our partnerships with uh, local businesses. Uh, we, have, we have a wonderful ice cream which everybody knows about. Uh, we have a couple new products. Uh, Black Magic Sweets, uh, Merrick's Bakery, Middle Fork Roasters, JC Roasting. Uh, these are all local businesses that we've partnered with to try to uh, keep it local. I have the Black Magic Sweets in my cooler, and then that little box there, she does uh, macaroons, JC Roasting, I sell her uh, a 12 ounce bag of beans. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Merrick's Bakery, uh, Punch Key on, on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Even our ice cream is here in the Pacific Northwest. It's uh, a group of dairy farms in Northern Oregon, Cascade Glacier, and they put out a really good product. I would also like to Plug my doggy gelato, swell gelato. It's a way to get your pup involved in uh, the activities of the day. Uh, it, it's it's a great product and it's going over really well in the community. Uh, lady makes it. She lives right here in West Seattle. Uh, it's a great product. So it's uh, ice cream for your dog. Well, there we go. For your dogs. I like that. <laughs> so I'm kind of going the same route, trying to partner with other local businesses. Uh, helps me get my name out, helps the business I'm partnering with uh, get their name out. It's a nice little place to introduce new products. We get a lot of foot traffic, so that's nice. And are you looking forward to summer? Definitely looking forward to summer. I haven't. We bought it in August, right at the tail end of the summer and in the middle of COVID. So business was nowhere near what uh, it could have been pre-COVID or would have been. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely looking forward to being here for my first summer. The one cool thing about Coffee and Cone, it's been here so long and it kind of has this built-in following. Uh, People know it as an ice cream shop. They know it's here in the summertime. They come to the park all the time. So Marina Park here is great for people to come and enjoy the water, dock their boats. Again, I'd just like to thank everybody for making Coffee and Cone a great summer hangout. Uh, but I would also like to make it a wintertime hangout as well with my coffee and donuts in the weekend. We open up early on Saturday and Sunday. We're open at 8 a.m. We do a coffee and donuts. Uh, that's going. That's been going over really well with the community. Middle Fork is our main roasting company that we use for our beans. Uh, they put out a great cup of coffee or a great espresso. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and you'll know all the new flavors that we're coming out with, uh, as well as our new flavors of Ponchki that we do on the weekends or a Polish donut. 
Well, hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Eddie, thanks for having us today at Coffee and Cola. <laughs> well, thank you, Sam. I really appreciate it. It's been an honor to have you guys in, uh, and I appreciate you guys giving me a little plug for, my, for being a new owner here in Kirkman. Excellent, and make sure you guys tune in to the next episode of Discovering the Highlights. Go to discoveringthehighlights.com for more info, and you can find more info about Coffee and Cone at Coffee and Cone Kirkland at Gmail, or you can go on to our uh, Coffee and Cone at Square to order online. Eddie, thanks for having us today at Coffee and Cone, and we look forward to coming down and visiting you this summer for sure. Everyone at home, thanks for watching. Go to discoveringthehighlife.com for news and information and us on social media. And uh, new episodes every Thursday. Cheers.